the world. So hunker in because there's a good chance you have kids with you at home because so many schools are canceled today, which is why we brought in this gal, uh -huh. Trisha Sass from Parkville Artisan Studio. I'll keep them busy. You are going to do something really good in the Price Chopper kitchen with us. I am. You know, on these days, you're mm -hmm. stuck with the kids, right? Mm -hmm. Or you're getting to spend quality time. Quality time. You know, it. you're not stuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what you'd like to do is something that will keep them occupied. Yes. It will be fun. And once you're done making this project, the kids can occupy themselves with their games, And most right? importantly, you have a glue gun. I brought it just for which her. Which is like the best she thing She loves ever. my glue gun. I do gun. love the glue gun. We're not gonna, well, you wanna use that first? Yeah. We'll use that one first. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. so these little eyeballs yeah. right here, see okay. the little eyeballs? I want you to glue them on the little glass bead here. I took these little glass beads and I just found some, okay. some pretty paper. Hold the bead up so here, Doug like can this. see the bead. And that is what we're making. I we just glued are some paper to... right on the back, and I put the so little eyeballs, eyeballs on it. So we're making it. them into like little bugs? Yeah, we're gonna make little bugs, and they're okay. gonna be the game pieces. <gasps> oh, that's such a good idea. I mean, you and you can get really, uh, uh, you know, detailed on some of this. Like okay. this one, I really went overboard. I started with a little box like this that uh -huh. I got from a hobby store, and I put paper all over it and little bugs and little I flowers. Okay, and so. I really went crazy on this, okay? Here's the little instruction card, right? I just printed that on the computer and glued it on some paper with my spray glue. So it's a how to play. I made guys. a little board. And you have little different things you can do with it, with the little dice, and then your little uh, bugs that you're making. Mm -hmm. They're the little game pieces, right? So this is my game piece. Yeah. And and, and this one's really detailed. There are much easier ones too. Um, Wait. So how do you know what the rules are? I mean, is They're this right. a game? You... I just made it up. So this is a full on. You made you made up a game. I made like, up roll a game. The dice. Yeah. And then move it around these. Yep. And when you land on a flower, you do one thing. You do, and then land on a leaf, you do a different thing. You have to get to the ladybug first. I love right? that. Okay, that's really cool. Isn't that fun? Yes. And there are other really more simple ones to do. Okay. This is the one we're going to work on next. You brought okay. Altoids. <laughs> not for are you. Are you trying to tell me something? No, I'm not. Okay, what are we doing with this? No, that's just going to be the box for it. Okay. okay. You're going to use your little glue gun again because I know you like that. Mm -hmm. And you're going to glue this cute piece of paper on top here just okay. to make it pretty. Okay, and what I did prior to this was I printed on some paper, uh, or I, I glued some papers together, some pretty papers, and I stuck stickers. I just bought a little dollar sticker box, or sticker book here, and I put stickers on it, and now this is a matching memory game. Oh, I love memory right? games. I know, So, and we yeah. can keep the pieces right in our pretty little box. Uh, even, I, I picked up some of that, there are cool duct tapes out there, uh -huh. you know, right? Yeah, with all different this kinds of This is just duct tape. I'm gonna wrap this around the bottom here. You wanna do that? You can wrap that. So just the crafty wrap a strip part, of it around the bottom there. Now, where did you find the little things for the, the memory cards? And I, any parents I just, I these? just took paper that was in the cabinet, glued some paper together to make it a little thicker. I used my spray glue to do that. And then I put stickers on it. Were you the best That's babysitter all. ever when you were a teenager? I don't know. You'd have to ask the kids that hang out at my house because before I opened my studio in Parkville, I was the only stay-at-home mom in the neighborhood, and really? all the kids kind of came and hang, hung out at my house, and we'd do stuff like this. I, I always had projects around them. That. And it was always for their benefit. It wasn't just to keep them out of my hair. Oh, no, never. Never. Okay, so then we can get even easier okay. if you want. Here yeah. is the simplest one. You have a little bag around the house like this. Yeah. Draw a little tic-tac-toe oh, yeah. on the front of it, and... Put some little beads in it. There you go. And that's it. We can play tic tac toe on this. Gosh, you could do this with buttons. You know how you have all uh -huh. those buttons. Doesn't that have come to be the, the beads. And yep, you can use the the buttons for that. And this is a little container, a little bag that you get with yeah, jewelry or whatever, or even just a cute little gift, right? Party right. saver for the next birthday party you it's have. It's really cute and super easy and inexpensive. Um, this one's the boys will love this one especially. This is make a monster game Love so it. you can roll the monster when you roll the dice and you get specific numbers like you put add it, pieces one is on. add an eye two yeah. is add an arm right so you can put all the little pieces on your little felt so if you have a glue gun you have felt really anything you have if you have some dice you can turn it into a game mm -hmm. trisha sass with parkville artisan studio thank you and the You're parents welcome. watching who are at home with all their kiddos who had class and school cancer today canceled mm -hmm. today they make thank good you. use of it today <laughs> have you ever looked at charcoal